Welcome, I am in Rifton. I'm in theory here to uh, warn Layla Lawgiver about the vampire threat. I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to go find Brynjolf. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did, but how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quiet, and nothing will happen. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lass. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lass. You repeat yourself very often? I'm sorry, what? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. Well, that's not true. Um, <coughs> how could you possibly know that? And it's obviously Hurry. not true. I've come to warn you. It's all about sizing up your mark, Vash. And I'm not your mark. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I don't... What do you want to have in mind? <coughs> I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. I'm ready. Let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Gather round, all. Disrespect for the laws of this land. It's time to face the Yarl's justice. Smart woman. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After, we'll pay the price. Round all. I guess I expected too much from you. I didn't think you'd get pinched. Can't say I'm surprised with the way things have been going around here. What's been going on? Uh, my organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking, if you're up to the challenge. I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Please. Please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Okay, let's go to the Ragged Flagon. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. I don't know, Drop. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. 
baby. What is that? I'm just cleaning out this the rat way. I always do this. Just so I don't have to walk back and forth with these dead guys because they never go away. So I just drop them down here. I just like the atmosphere better when it's all cleaned up. And then I come in here and I get the skeever and the other dead guy and do the same thing. mean to fall down myself.
this one is different. We've all heard well, that one well, calling me a press mass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Sure. They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Sounds good. Kidava, Bercy Honeyhand, and Hilga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. How do you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Consider it done. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. I'll be here when you're done. Legendary Argonian Raftery I've never seen the old as upset about anything. The city really gets to me. So, can I interest you? What? Oh, it's one of you. Yes, it's one of us people. So, Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore. He doesn't eh? have to, he sent me. What's this message? Um, we want our money. Now. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all caught. And everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves. <sighs> we can protect ourselves. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Rifter. Okay, I'm gonna punch you out. I'm going to make you sorry for this. Come on, you're mine. Get up! <coughs> I'm being attacked. <coughs> Come on, she's not so tough. <coughs> oh. Oh. You what are you doing that for? So, can I interest you in anything today? What? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple, you don't pay bad things. I think you know where it is. You're gouging me for what little coin I make, and you can't even protect yourselves? Ridiculous. We can protect ourselves, trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. I think you need to shut your mouth. I'm going to make you sorry for this. Come on. By these Get here, her. you won't leave here alive. Come on, she's <coughs> not so tired. <coughs> Son of a <coughs> I'll pay. Uh, here.
I know you. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman. And it's time to pay for your crimes. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying. Then you're free to go. If you're ever in the market, I'll deal in specialty goods from Morrowind at one of the stands. You lost? Hmm. What did you want? Message from Brynjolf. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Then you'll pay on more than just corn. Ha! We'll see about that. Take your damn coin and get out of here. Trees. They're beautiful here. Reminds me of autumn. At home. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Yeah, what do you want? If this is about Here for the a room or something to drink? Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier. You'll tell him I'm sorry, yes? Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. I swear it. Hmm. Well, my friend, how can I help you? Huh? I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. I'm not here to hold your hand. Figure this one out for yourself. So, job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. True? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? After you talk to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjolf first. We can talk.
called Lighter. Let me show you so the operation. You're bringing me over then you can ask your questions. Eh? Don't look like much to me. Nocturnal. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brignol. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. Play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussion. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yes. I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let her prove it. This Golden Glow estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Grignolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us when you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. So how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place. And they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tanelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Oh, there's my part draw. Oh, oh, it's nocturnal, by the way. Nocturnal. Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It just came it's to me. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? Is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Makes sense. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. What should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Gotcha. Okay, go see Tonelia. Yeah, I was talking with uh, Thea. She's in the background playing Elder Scrolls Online on her setup. Brignold, right? Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street. So you're the new Not recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. 
Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again, for a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get dirged to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Until next time. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. I've recovered all of Arendelle's journals. Good. I was hoping you hadn't forgotten about them. As promised, here's your payment for bringing them to me. Got it as part of a fair trade from my client. Until next time. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. Well, I'll try not to. Actually, let's go this way. Because I happen to know that I now have a bed and a box. This is my bed, and this is my box. Prices are 10% better. Twenty-two. Well, I suppose for that that hood that hood now. Okay, and let's go out this way now. Guild secret entrance is now identified. All right, so we'll stop here. Well, wait, let's make it uh, seven in the morning, and then we'll stop here. Hey, and then we'll go to Golden Road. Wait a minute, what? But we fast traveled and married that neck, yeah, the farm over there. That's out on that side of town. And then because that's. Actually, it out there. Okay, now we'll 